Did you fall in love with a fabric panel only to set it aside because you didn't know how to turn it into a full-size quilt? Do you get frustrated with quilt patterns because they don't exactly fit your mattress? Today we'll look at some simple ways to finish those quilt to the exact right size. I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you quilt. Stephen Covey taught us to begin with the end in mind, and that's especially true for making sure that your quilt projects fit the space that you have intended. If you are making a quilt that will fit on your bed, you need to know those final measurements including do you want the drop overhang on the sides of your mattress. So if your mattress size doesn't exactly match the pattern size, then you need to make some adjustments. And it's really simple, just by adding a couple borders. And remember, your borders do not have to be the same size. You can have a smaller, border on the top of your quilt and a larger border on the sides. That will help get that overhang or that drape or drop on your quilt. You could also add some blocks, either similar or completely different blocks than you find in the center of your quilt. Two of my favorites are piano keys. and small stars. You could even do a square and a square and put those blocks on point to make an interesting border for your quilt. So how big do these borders need to be? Well, it's a very simple formula. First, you need to know the size of the panel or the quilt top that you are working with. Then you need to know what the ultimate goal is. How big a quilt do you want? just subtract that smaller portion that's already done from the bigger size that you want to end up with and then divide that in half and you'll have the two equal measurements that you create your two side borders or your top and your bottom border for your quilt and then you make the borders to that size add them to the quilt and you're done I hope these tips for adding borders give you the confidence to create a truly custom quilt. If you'd like to start with a pattern, check out the Starburst collection, which I share in the video on your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.